All right, if you're somebody who struggles with confidence, I want you to watch this and listen very carefully. So a lot of us go through life and we don't really feel like we are where we want to be. And that's okay. That's part of being human is not having yet achieved your fullest potential because life is all about growing. Life is all about trying to become the best version of yourself. So if that's where you're looking at and that's your perception of life, then you're generally not going to feel like you've reached your max potential. Now, that's okay. Where it becomes a problem and where our confidence starts to get affected by all this is when we start to view ourselves in comparison to other people, right? So let's say in the lens of wrestling, I just started a couple years ago, and I'm watching all these other guys uh, winning state championships or winning winning districts or winning regionals or winning national championships. And I feel like I'm putting in a lot of training, maybe training three times a day. I'm doing all the right things. And it's just my results aren't the same as theirs. Now, is that because I'm not doing as well and I just, I'm not as good as a wrestler? Or is it because I'm not quite allowing myself to access the full benefits of my training? Most likely, it's the second one. How do we access the full benefits of our training? So if you're lifting heavy, if you're at practice and you're working really hard on your techniques and you're eating all the right things and your mindset's in the right place, but yet you still feel like you're always three steps behind everybody, then you really need to question what your underlying thoughts are in terms of competition. Now, most of the guys that I work with and the people that see me for mindset help and even as a therapist, people who come and see me for things like that, a lot of times people lack confidence because they're comparing their life to others' lives. And so naturally, they see only the positives of what other people are doing. And then when they look at themselves, they only see the negatives, right? So in terms of my training, my assumption is that, oh, everybody else in the state is doing the same work that I'm doing, right? They're riding the bike for hours on end. They're uh, lifting super heavy. They're eating all the right things. They're getting mindset help. They're you know, training two, three hours a day in practice. My assumption is that anybody who's winning state titles is doing what I'm doing. So naturally, I devalue my own training potential that I could access. I devalue the training that I'm putting in because I place everybody else on a pedestal and just assume that they're putting in the same training as me. Now, are they or are they not? I mean, you could go train with them and actually see what they train like, and that would really be an eye-opener because I can tell you with almost 100% certainty that most of those guys aren't putting in the type of work that you're putting in, especially if you're busting your ass in the off-season. Because a lot of guys who are successful and do reach the top, naturally, because they've accomplished their goals, stop training at all over the summer because they want the break. Now, they're good because of where they're at, but they could be a lot better if they continue to train in the off season. That's a completely different subject. Where you're at is your confidence level lacks because you think they're doing everything that you're doing. So when you go and wrestle those people, you think that they've put in the same training as you and yet you have all these inherent qualities that make you not worthy of winning and that they have all these inherent qualities that make them worthy of winning instead, that's where things go wrong. When you think that there's something wrong with you and you think that no matter what kind of training you do, everybody else is always doing the same thing that you're doing, then naturally all your confidence is just gonna slide, right? So how do we get around that? How do we combat that? So what I like to say is if the people you're comparing yourself to, you don't know for certain the work that they're putting in, then it goes back to control what you can control. If you can't control the fact of knowing what they're doing, then you have to let it go. And just assume that maybe they are, maybe they aren't. Does it really matter? No, because the focus needs to be on what I'm doing, how I'm training to maximize my potential, the work that I'm doing to bring out my best self when I put my toe on that line. If I place myself in the center of my world 
and make sure that I'm doing everything I possibly can to be the best version of myself when I step out there, then it really doesn't matter what type of training everybody else has done because I believe in the training that I've done. Comparison is the death of all self-confidence because naturally we look at the world through a graduation type lens where everything's all positive and rosy and everybody's doing all this work and doing all these great things and we don't ever see them doing the negative things. We don't see them at practice when their do uh, dick is a dog and not doing their job or when their technique is piss poor because they're just kind of taking the day off, right? We don't see that. So we don't get that chance to be like, oh, well, I'm busting my ass while they're messing around. So then that makes my training better. If we can't control whether or not we see that and can actually like internalize it and create that as a perception, then we really do have to just let it go. You, it doesn't matter what they're doing. It doesn't matter what they bring to the table. It doesn't matter what type of training they're doing. As long as you are putting in as much training as you possibly can to be your best self when you go out there. Now, all of this is under the assumption that you're doing what it takes to go out there and compete your best. If you're not doing that and you're still feeling uh, a little low on confidence, then do something about it. Increase your training so that you can feel confident in your training. But don't do that and then pretend to know that everybody else is doing the same thing that you're doing because most likely they're not, especially if you're pushing your limits, especially if you're breaking yourself every day to then rebuild yourself stronger. Because not a lot of people are that brave and that courageous and that freaking tough to be able to do that day in and day out. It's comparison that is going to destroy all your confidence. And most likely, you are looking at your opponents and you are looking at the people around you as being uh, almost golden and, and shiny and having all these qualities that you think you don't have. But in reality, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what they do. It doesn't matter what qualities that they're good at. It doesn't matter because as long as you are doing everything you can possibly do to be the best version of yourself when you step out there, whether it's in wrestling or in school or in life or whatever, as long as you are maximizing your own potential, it really doesn't matter what everybody else is doing because you are doing the best you can do to be the best version of yourself. And that's all, all there really is to it.